To begin disassembly, grip the pump in a vise by the sprocket and loosen the main nut. Remove the washers and sprocket, then turn the unit over and undo the three bolts holding the housing and rear cover together. Using a rubber hammer, tap the housing to separate from the rear cover. The rotor and vanes can now be pulled off the shaft. Using circlip pliers, remove the circlip that retains the main bearing. Remove the O-ring and then turn the unit over and tap the shaft with a rubber hammer to remove it. The unit is now disassembled. To begin reassembly, place the shaft into the housing and align by hand, then tap with the rubber hammer to seat the bearing. Fit the circlip in to lock the bearing in place. Fit the vanes into the rotor using motor assembly grease to hold them in place. Push the rotor onto the shaft, aligning it onto the spline. Then push each of the vanes out until it touches the housing wall. Fit the O-ring. Place the rear cover on and close the assembly by hand. Insert the three housing bolts and hand tighten. Then tighten firmly with a spanner. Place the new sprocket onto the shaft and fit the flat and spring washers and nut and hand tighten. Place the unit into a vise gripping by the sprocket and tighten the nut firmly with a socket wrench. Then use a tension wrench to complete the tightening. Assembly is now complete. Remove the unit from the vise and check that the pump rotates freely.